Now, Jesus did many, many miracles, but the very first miracle um, recorded in scripture that he performed was there's a time when he goes for a particular wedding. And in this wedding, um, uh, the wine um, uh, is depleted. So the people in the wedding tell the, uh, the mother, the mother Jesus tells the people in the wedding to do what he tells them to do. But Jesus is kind of like telling the mother, you know, I'm not, my time is not, is not yet um, calm, you know. Uh, but then the mother insists and tells them, just do what he tells you to do. Um, hi, my name is Marcy Valerio Gutti and welcome our Satan Church Online as we talk about sensitivity to God's divine direction. The mother of Jesus tells the servants who were uh, attending that particular wedding that whatever he says to you, do it. I was reading that scripture and those words literally jumped out of the verse. That whatever he says to you, just do it. And you know, in that particular setup, in that wedding ceremony, um, uh, once Jesus gave the instruction, I mean, nobody questioned or nobody doubted or nobody, um, you know, negotiated. Like, he gave instructions and that particular water turned into wine immediately. There was no doubt whatsoever. And this is my question to you. Is there a divine instruction that you have been ignoring negotiating with or even arguing with let me repeat that again is there a divine instruction is there something that god has been telling you or the holy spirit has been nudging you that you are ignoring negotiating with or even arguing with there, there is a song that has really been a blessing to my heart and listen to the words of the song it says let me want what you want oh my dear lord let me love what you love oh my dear lord that is how you designed life to be help me to live how i ought to be take me to the place where i have no choice that is separate from your choice take me to the place where i have no will that is separate from your will to be lost in you is my desire to be all for you is what I want. One of the toughest things that we grapple with as believers is we struggle with the voice of God and the instructions that God gives us. You know, I remember Simon Peter. Those guys had toiled, they had toiled, you know, trying to catch fish the whole entire night. And when Jesus gave the instruction to Simon Peter and told him, I want you to Put your net into the deep. Go into the deep. And when Simon Peter obeyed those particular instructions, this is what Simon Peter says, Lord, at your word, I will do it. I have toiled all day and night, but at your word, I'm going to do it. And when he did that, I mean, Simon Peter and the rest of the disciples, they caught so much fish that they even had to beckon other people to come and help them. And my question to you again, is there a divine instruction that you have been ignoring, you have been negotiating, or you have been, you know, um, just, just not obeying that divine instruction? And this is one thing that I've come to learn with God, is His instructions to us are for our own benefit. Because God knows your destiny, He wants, He has your best interest at heart. So there is no way he can give you an instruction that is going to be detrimental to your destiny, detrimental to your vision, and detrimental to your life purpose. To your life purpose. And the other day I had a preacher say that revelation 
brings elevation. And you need to be flexible in the hands of God. God is always speaking. God is always giving us instructions. But either we choose to argue with Him, or we choose to ignore the instructions, or even at times, you know, we choose just not to, to just negotiate with Him. Yeah? But let me tell you, the best thing that can happen to your life is when you receive God's divine instruction and you ask Him, Father, help me, give me the grace to obey this instruction. Because it's no easy. At times, it's so tough to obey those instructions. But remember that God has your best interest at heart. Okay? And some of the ways that you can get divine instruction is one through the Word of God. The Bible tells us in the book of James that anyone who listens to the word but doesn't do it is like a person who looks at himself in the mirror and forgets how he looks at how he looks like rather but when you intently and consistently go to the word of God God will give you a divine instruction from his word because you know you can his word um, I've forgotten the word um, his word is accountable his word is accountable and his word is infallible it, and it doesn't fail the other second way you can get a divine instruction apart from the word of God is through praying the Bible tells us that we should pray without ceasing when you continuously talk to God and ask him father direct me direct give me guidance give me guidance on my career path give me guidance on who I should get married to give me guidance on who to enter into business with okay give me direct me Lord give me um, networks in terms of business in terms of my career connect me with the right people but number three is through worship one of the ways you get divine instruction is through worship the Bible tells us to enter his courts with thanksgiving and his gates with praise and that's my prayer as you watch this video today that whichever instruction God gives you ask him to give you the grace and allow me to pray for you today that Lord anyone who is watching this video and you've given them a divine instruction that they're finding hard to commit to I pray that you release grace that they'll be able to obey that instruction because that obedience will lead to that elevation remember revelation leads to elevation we love you here at System Church Online. Thank you so much for watching. We'd like to get to hear from you uh, on our social media platforms. And let us connect with you. Let us pray for you. And God loves you more than anything else. Mwah.